Hi guys, it's Wilma. Welcome back to yet another A Summer in My Sketchbook video. Today is not just any A Summer in My Sketchbook video. In today's video, I will be making one of my favorite sketchbook spreads in my sketchbook so far, which is very exciting and I am just really excited to show it to you all. Obviously, I've already made the art as I'm filming this intro, so that's how I know it's my favorite one. <laughs> I think that was pretty obvious. Anyway, I really hope that you'll enjoy this video and without further ado, we're gonna get into it. So this sketchbook spread is of a cat and a dog and I made it in gouache paint. When I sketched this out, I wasn't thinking too much about it and I just did what I felt would look cool. I added a star around the cat's head and something in the background for the dog and I really enjoyed the look of it. And in the end, I think it really pulled the piece together. I saved these reference photos not really thinking I would end up drawing them honestly. I save reference photos all the time that I never do anything with and these weren't really the kind of reference photos that I felt a super strong desire to draw but I knew that if I did end up using them I could probably do something really cool and I did. I'm always proud of myself when I draw things even when I don't feel super inspired because that's how I felt in the beginning of sketching these. I didn't know where I was going with them and my expectations were low but then I ended up loving both the paintings that I did. When I'm not drawing my own photos, I save photos from a group that I'm in called Kane Yo in an app called Telegram where you can find loads and loads of royalty-free photos. So that's where I got these from. Anyway, I've had a good feeling about a lot of the art that I've created recently. Things have been going well. I've enjoyed the process of art, I've enjoyed the results, and I've really enjoyed the subjects that I've been painting. Things have been good all around. I think one of the main reasons for this is because I've thought more about what I want art to feel like and how I want to improve. I've analyzed what I feel like I could do better and it has made an impact on my art and the way that I feel about it. Something that I discussed in my last video was my desire to become looser in my technique. And what that means is basically to not try to perfect things too much, to leave brush strokes looking rough and to not control the painting as much as I usually would. I think I was able to achieve a looser look with these paintings and I was trying to not nitpick at things and see these drawings as a full picture instead. Normally I would add a lot more detail but there is beauty in not overworking a piece and I'm happy to finally be at a place with my art where I can put that thought into action. When I get caught up in details, it's hard to see the full picture and doing too many details can make the art end up looking too refined in the end and every detail is not necessary. This has been one of the hardest things for me to learn throughout the years. I've always known that I shouldn't overwork my pieces and how beautiful it can be to leave things rougher, but it's taken so long for me to put that into action. Now that I've talked about how I want to achieve a looser look and have dived a little bit deeper into it, it feels more possible for me to do it somehow. I've talked about how I wish my art wasn't so realistic here and there before and how I've wanted things to change, but it felt like things always stay the same because I didn't put in a conscious effort to make the changes that I wanted to happen. I've never analyzed my own art as much as I have now and that combined with trying to make a change when I put brush to paper has truly made an impact. I've also realized that my art is uniquely my own and at times it's been hard for me to not be where I want to be but now I've come to appreciate the process of getting to where I want to be and I focus on putting in the work to get there instead. On a less serious note, let's talk a little bit more about these paintings and the medium that I used. As I said in the beginning, I am painting these in gouache paint and I mentioned in my previous video how much I love this medium. But I will say it again, I love this medium. <laughs> I don't think any medium is easy, they all come with their challenges, but as far as the easiest paint to use, it's gouache paint for me. Keep in mind I haven't really used oil paint though. I love how gouache layers on top of itself, how fast it dries, and how if you use enough paint you don't have to do too many layers. I also love the way that it dries matte, it's so beautiful. I remember when I first had to learn how to use it, I didn't have nearly as hard of a time to learn it as any of the other paints that I tried before. It might be because I had already used several different types of paints, as gouache paint is the lightest kind of paint that I've had to learn, which I did in 2020, so I had some painting experience beforehand. But I feel like when I learned how to use aquarelle paint and acrylic paint, it took me so much longer to even grasp how to use them. Gouache paint will always have a special place in my heart. And now on to talking about these paintings. Cats and dogs are quite different from each other, so I wanted these paintings to have an opposite feel to each other, which I think I ended up succeeding with in the end. I used to be a dog person growing up, I loved dogs and even pictured having one one day, 
and I was absolutely terrified of cats because I had mostly only had bad experiences with them. But then one day I met a cat that changed my whole opinion on them and now I love cats and I am more of a cat person. So yeah, now you know that's very random fact about me. <laughs> I love all the colors that I use in these paintings and I enjoy these reference photos a lot. Both paintings took me less than two hours to make, which is the perfect amount of time to spend on something in my sketchbook. When I was painting these, things went smoothly because I wasn't overthinking things and now that I've genuinely started trying to not overwork my pieces and not put in too much detail, it has made the process so much fun, which makes me very happy. I still do think I could have probably put in less detail into the dog, but compared to how detailed I used to be in the past, I'm happy with the progress that I've made. I'm not sure if I like the cat or dog more. When I had finished the cat painting, I loved it so much, but then I made the dog one and I was like, wait. I might like this one more. Might be because of my love for pink, which is what I ended up using as part of the background for the dog. I think things have been going pretty well for me lately with trying to find what I enjoy doing in art and following my desire more with choosing what to make art of. I'm putting less pressure on myself and I'm trying my best to just enjoy things and to enjoy my process and I've really been able to achieve that a lot more and I think it was becoming quite a problem for me at one point in my art so I'm very happy with where I'm able to take my art and to be able to change how I feel about it because at the end of the day art is always going to be in my life and it's always going to be something that I do and I want to try my best to remain a healthy relationship with it because in the past I've felt like art was my entire life and it's not like that anymore and I've really changed my mindset with it and turned it into more of a fun thing for me which feels really good. Anyway, I don't really have any other thoughts at the moment so I will see you in the end. Okay, so here we have the sketchbook spread. As I said, I love this sketchbook spread. It's my favorite one so far in this sketchbook and I just like love it. It's so colorful and fun and pretty and it's just really fun and good and great. So <laughs> I, I think I've ran out of words at this point, but yeah. This is what she looks like. She is beautiful, she is gorgeous, she is colorful, and all I ever wanted. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and the art that I made, and I'm gonna go, but hopefully I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Goodbye. Peace.